How did you first start working in fundraising? So when I was in college, it was the year leading up to a big presidential election in the US when Barack Obama was running for president. And I was really inspired by him, as were a lot of my classmates when I was in college. And so I started doing what's called canvassing, where you go out and you knock on doors and you talk to people and you try and tell them what you think is really good about a cause or a person or a candidate. So I was doing that in Los Angeles. And I started working with another group there that, did, that was doing fundraising. And I found that when you really believe in something or when you really believe in a cause or when you really believe in a vision, you can get really motivated and behind it. And I then found out that a lot of the challenges that a lot of organizations that have really great goals and visions, they don't have enough money. So I thought, okay, well if I can go into fundraising and I can help get money for organizations that I think are doing really good work, then that could be a good job for me. And I've been in fundraising ever since. Now you're working at SBMS. What brought you here? So, though I loved to travel, from, and for many years I did a lot of traveling, I got a little tired of traveling. And when I would be on the road for weeks at a time, I would miss my dog, and I would miss my house and my friends, and I couldn't really keep it up anymore. So, the, and the other part that I really missed was getting to see the impact of my work every day. So I worked in an office, and like I was just saying, I thought it was really great to work for people that I would never meet, but I wanted to be more in the middle of a program where I was seeing kind of what we were working on every day. And then I was told that there was a, a job open at Santa Barbara Middle School, and I had friends that went to middle school, and my friends who came here, they went on to go do such amazing things with their lives. They started farms, they became musicians, they started their own clothing companies. They just did really exciting things and they followed their passion and I could tell that they knew what their authentic self wanted to do in life. And so, coming here, I really wanted to support our next generation of leaders, people who are gonna go out and change the world. And I love the idea of being here every, every day and getting to see students grow up and go off and accomplish amazing things. What's your vision for the school? Mm -hmm. I want to see the middle school continue to grow and to offer a lot of opportunities in our community, maybe to students who don't actually come here every day. So expanding our programs like the Community Action Group or Bike Monkeys or our gardens where we can bring in more students that aren't here every day but are maybe at neighboring schools and we can help them grow and learn together as a community since we're all connected through living here. So this quarter you were coaching the girls volleyball team. Mm -hmm. When did you start playing volleyball? I started playing volleyball when I was probably about in junior high. So about the same age that my players are on my team. And I was really tall, if you can imagine that. I was really tall <laughs> for my age. So for me, when I stepped out onto a sports field, whether it was basketball or volleyball, I felt I felt like I had found my footing. And so I fell in love with volleyball. I had so much fun. And I love teams. I love groups of people. And so for me, the teams that I played on when I was a kid, some of those players, we became lifelong friends. So for me, coming to middle school and getting to coach volleyball is like going full circle. And I, I love it. Um, would you ever consider teaching any core classes? I would consider it, yes. Um, I don't know which ones at this point, but for me, getting to spend time with our students every day is one of the things I love most about my job, so that would be fun. I heard you're learning how to box. That seems like an unusual choice. Tell us about it. You've done some good investigative journalism. Um, I am learning how to box. I, I, because I played sports for so many years, I get really bored doing just like your average exercise. I want to be kind of pushed to accomplish more or try out new things all the time um, and I can get a little competitive. So for me, <laughs> boxing is really good. I didn't ever think I would get into it, but yeah, I started taking it this summer and I, I loved it, so I'm kind of hooked. <laughs> so as we finish up, um, what question should we have asked you? Ooh. Um, 
So the um, founder of Vitamin Angels, who I used to work for, he had this tradition with his family where after they would have dinner every night, they would ask what they call the after dinner question. And mm -hmm. every night it was different and then everyone would get to have an answer and then it would start this dialogue between him and his wife and their kids. And I went to their house once for dinner and his daughter, who is a middle school alum, she asked me the question, what do you want your legacy to be? And I thought that that was one of the most profound and wonderful questions I'd ever been asked in my life. And she was in Team Press. So that, that is a question that I ask a lot of people. And the answer for me is to be a good friend, to be kind, and to make a difference in the world. Well, thank you so much. It was really nice interviewing you. Thank you. I really enjoyed it. Great job. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was, that was fun. Good questions. <laughs> Very impressed.